What's up everyone and welcome to part two of what I got for Christmas for 2012 and I'm excited to continue because now I got the Wii games that I got which are only four games and yeah so let's start. Uh, first thing I got was Metroid Prime 3 Corruption which is a game I've always wanted to play. I love the second one. I really liked the first one when I first played it even though when I was a kid and I played it I was like I was confused completely like at least Metroid the original games didn't confuse me as much because they weren't as complicated. But, uh, yeah, that one confused me. Metro Prime run, uh, 1. Metro Prime 3 I never played, so kind of looking forward to playing, I guess. Now, my mom also got me... The, I don't know how she did this, but uh, she got me Adventures of Tintin on Xbox 360, but she also got me it for Wii. So, I don't know how that happened, but she got it for me on both consoles, so... Now I have it on both. Uh, and she paid like four bucks for it on Wii, so uh, I, don't even, <laughs> I don't even feel like returning it, to be honest. Um, Kirby's Epic Yarn, which is a game I played a couple years ago and I really enjoyed. Thing is, it's a very, very kid-friendly game. I don't even think you can die. So, yeah. It's a good game, though. A really good game. And the next game is a game I've already had before, and I sold it, and my mom rebought it again because... Uh, um, my little cousin loves games like this, and this is We Play, which of course is a game with a bunch of mini games. And my cousin loves that because he, he's like five or six, and you know he doesn't really care for all those intriguing stories and well, no zombie killing for him yet. Freaking lame. Anyway, I'm sorry because someone's gonna say, "Oh, now he's calling his cousin lame and stuff." Well, he doesn't like anybody in his family. So anyway, um, next is gonna be movies, I think, right? Yeah, you know what? Let's go with movies. Which, let me get a bigger chunk here. Uh, let me get one more. Actually, you know what? That's good enough. Alright, so the first thing I got... Actually, I should separate these... Yeah, I should separate these from DVD and Blu-ray. I'm sorry. Actually, I think that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. So anyway, let's show off the DVDs first. The first thing I got was, DVD-wise, uh, is The Messengers, which is a movie... I hated when it first came out, and I don't think my mom knew that, but that's fine. She got this for a dollar at a dollar store. That's that's okay. I'll add it to my DVD collection, which is ever-expanding. Um, and, yeah, the messengers with uh, that Bella chick from Twilight and um, some other people. Uh, <laughs> some other dudes, I guess. Um, so, anyway, there you go. Um, next is a, is a movie I don't think I've ever heard of, and... I don't know, it looks familiar, but I don't think I ever heard of it. It's called Dead Awake. With Nick Stahl and Rose McGowan, Amy Smart. Sounds like straight to DVD bullshit if I ever heard. Yep, 2010, it has to be straight to DVD movie. But I don't know, it could be good. And the next one, which is, I'm, 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 a, I'm, really, I'm really excited to actually watch this, is the best Red vs. Blue DVD ever of all time. Which is, of course, just a compilation of all the funniest parts of Red vs. Blue. It's two and a half hours long. I got this for five bucks. That's a really good deal for a, a DVD with two and a half hours of content. So, that's pretty good. Next one is um, Snow White and the Huntsman, which I'm getting into Blu-rays, by the way. That's all the DVDs I got. So, Snow White and the Huntsman is my first Blu-ray. And, yeah, for eight bucks, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, it was eight bucks. Yeah, it was eight bucks. I keep second guessing myself, like, no, it wasn't eight bucks. No, it was eight bucks. The next game, I mean, next movie. I'm sorry, I'm freaking dying here. Hold on, give me a second. It's hot. Middle of freaking winter. It's Christmas and it's hot in my room. Ain't that some shit? Should go outside. Um, <laughs> which a lot of people have have told me that throughout my life. Um, and I say, no, there's nothing to do at that. St kick a stick. Um, Hunger Games, yeah, for 10 bucks, not bad. Um, a movie that, even though I loved that first, I did rewatch it again. Uh, I rented it when it first came out on DVD uh, for Redbox, and I like it a little bit less. I mean, I noticed how some acting isn't that great, and I noticed how it can be a little boring at times, and a little silly at times, definitely. Especially that whole, like, pageant part where they're like trying to show off you know I ain't gonna spoil it but that's kind of silly but still good movie uh, the next movie I got which I already had so I have to return this is Prometheus on 3D Blu-ray um, my mom knows what I like but the thing is she didn't know I already had it which is fine again I'm not I'm not complaining <laughs> I have to return it though next movie which 
Um, I actually got for Black Friday. The thing is, is that I guess my mom took it from me and put it for gifts. I don't know. Um, Fight Club. <laughs> I, I got this on uh, Black Friday, but she did pay for it, so technically it was hers to give to me. But um, yeah, she took it. So now my Black Friday thing that I thought was just mine is now my Christmas gift. So there you go. Fight Club. Put that over there. Next one is a movie I love from this year, and that is Cabin in the Woods. Got that for pretty cheap too. And this one I only got because it's on Blu-ray 3D. And I heard this is a really cool 3D for a, a 3D movie. Um, and this is My Bloody Valentine 3D, which was like 8 bucks um, 3D version. And yeah, it has a lot of special features too, which blew my mind because it's just like a one disc Blu-ray 3D thing. So hopefully it says blu-ray 3d I'm hoping it actually means blu-ray 3d because this is back in 2009 so I don't know if it actually is it could be that shitty like you know the what, what are they called cyan and the red ones whatever the hell they are alright so let's continue got a couple more blu-rays oh wow we're ending off with a fantastic movie too look at that yeah, I go tell you what it is yet Next one is, this was a surprise because I kept mentioning this to my mom. I was like, oh man, I really want the first season of this. I really want the first season of this. And she was all like, eh, okay, whatever. And she went and got me not only the first season of this, but she got me the special edition Best Buy exclusive, I think. Best Buy exclusive, I think so, I don't know. But um, And this is The Walking Dead, the complete first season, which this was only 20 bucks, which blew my mind because this is like a, a $50, $60 set you can get. Three disc set with a ton of freaking special features. Um, and. Oh, they give you the pilot episode in black and white. That's kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there. Um, when I do my Christmas unboxings, most likely tomorrow, you will definitely see um, an unboxing of this. Which I always do Christmas unboxings where I just, you know, unbox a bunch of random stuff that I got for Christmas uh, in one video. So, next movie is Reservoir Dogs, which. Is a you know what I love Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction is one of my favorite movies of all time. But I think Reservoir Dogs is just a wee bit better. Just a wee bit better. I haven't seen it in a very long time though, so I have to watch Pulp Fiction and this again. But uh, I got that on Blu-ray finally. Um, next movie is another movie I was I got on Black Friday, but my mom took it and made a Christmas gift, and that is Unstoppable, which is a movie I really liked the first time. I was like, wow, this is really good, very fun. When I saw it again, I'm like. Okay, considerably less, kind of like Hunger Games, um, but yeah, uh, rest in peace, Tony Scott. Uh, that bridge made you die. He was probably gloating. He was probably saying, "Hey, I bet you won't jump, fag." And he's all like, "Yeah, I will jump." He's, the bridge is probably all like, "No," and he's all like, "Yeah, I will." He's like, "Do it, bitch," and he probably did it. And the bridge is all like, "Shh, see you later, fucker," and. Tony Scott's dead. Thanks, Bridge. So, <laughs> next is, uh, that's how most of my vid videos go. Um, I make stupid shit up. Next is uh, Titanic on Blu-ray, the 3D edition, which I was very surprised my mom got me that. Um, not really, uh, because I did say, hey, that would be cool in 3D, and she was all like, oh, really? <laughs> okay. So, I wasn't super surprised she got this for me, but I'm still very happy she did, because I love Titanic. I thought that was a really good movie. I mean, there's times where I see it, and I'm like, okay, this isn't that great. But there's other times where I'm, like, watching it, and I'm still thinking to myself, you know what? Even though it's very sappy at times, it's a beautiful-looking movie, and it's very tragic, too. So, and everybody tears up at the ending. Come on. So next thing is something I teared up at for a completely different reason is Mortal Kombat Legacy on Blu-ray, which of course is the web series that went on uh, Machinima, which is a bunch of I think hold on nine episodes of just uh, introducing you to some of the Mortal Kombat characters in live action like Kano, Katana, uh, Raiden, Molina, Johnny Cage, Cyrax, Sector, Scorpion, Sub Zero, Jack, Sonya, and Kano. That's actually all of them. Um, and this was actually decent. When I say it, oh, put a tear to my eye. It was more like, oh, they did it. They're all live action. <laughs> and I love the original trailer that they put up, which is like an eight-minute trailer where it ends off with, you know, Scorpion being all awesome. And I was really excited to watch all these, and I really enjoyed them. The only one I probably didn't like that much was the Katana and Molina one, but that was about it. Everything else was very, very entertaining. So overall, yeah, I'm really excited to actually 
watch that again. And there's also there's also other characters that are in there. Like they had Baraka. Uh, they, I think they also had um, uh, Quan Chi at one point. Um, so yeah. Next one is Journey to the Mysterious Island, which I'm looking forward to seeing because I need to make up my top ten worst movies list. So and I heard that was pretty bad. Um, next one is Project X, which I heard is another one. So I want to watch that put on my top 10 maybe um and then the last movie which i said was and we're ending it off with a fantastic movie and i did not lie which is the gray which is definitely going to be on my top 10 spoiler it is this movie is amazing i love this movie so freaking much that's a movie that i first saw and i gave it a perfect score i loved it so much and i saw it again i'm like still a perfect score <laughs> that, that wasn't like a hunger games where i'm like okay a little bit less or a lot less no Still a perfect movie. I love that movie so much. I love The Grey. So, anyway, that was movies. I'm sorry if you hear stuff in the background. Sorry, I had to edit there real quick because uh, she was getting increasingly louder. So, you know what? I think I'm going to end this part off with a few things. Some accessories and some, like, clothes. That's what I'm going to end it off with. And then my next part is going to be the big one where I show you all the big stuff. So, I'm going to show you some of the clothes I got and some of the little other things. All right, I'm going to drop everything here. All right. So, I got a bunch of clothes too, of course, and I'm going to just show you off some of these things I got. First thing I got here was a Simpsons shirt, which I was very surprised about. I really do like Simpsons. Maybe not anymore, but I still really enjoy Simpsons. So there you go, that's a Simpsons shirt. It has all the characters, which is really cool. There you go, Simpsons. That's awesome. I love Simpsons. So, that was cool. Cool little surprise. Next one is something that... I liked. I, I looked at it and I'm like, wow, that was really cool, actually. Which is a Family Guy shirt with Stewie, of course. You got Stewie. Uh, he has uh, headphones on or something. I don't know. Really cool. I like Stewie. So I like Stewie. He's cool. He's cool, man. He's cool. Um, of course, from Family Guy, if you don't know. Um, the TV show. Uh, which, uh, this one's a, yeah, that's a sarcastic one. Um, uh, this one I liked. It's blue, but that's cool. It says, what's it say? Next sarcastic, yeah. Next sarcastic comment in zero minutes and four seconds. So, there you go. Sarcastic, three, two, one. It's okay, you know, if you're retarded. <laughs> Fucking. So, anyway, I got some socks. Hell yeah. It ain't a Christmas without socks. Alright, um. I'm not throwing it over there like like screw it. I actually have like a table there that I'm putting the clothes there on. Next is what is it? What is this, what this shirt? It says you can't fix stupid even with duct tape. There you go. It's true you can't. Big ass shirt. <laughs> Jeez. It's even bigger than me. I can wear that shit as a blanket. No, I'm kidding, of course. Of course. I'm just trying to make myself feel better about my weight. Mm. This, I don't know what this is actually supposed to be. I, I unwrapped this and she never really told me. I think it's supposed to be sweat shorts. <laughs> sweat shorts. Just shorts for the gym, I guess. Because I do go to the gym not as often as I wish we could. But, uh, yeah. Next, boxer shorts. Gotta get those boxer shorts. And the next one is my last shirt, which I think is... Oh, yeah, it is another sarcastic one. What is this? Oh, yeah. Teamwork is a lot of people doing what I say, which is true, it is, at least for me, because I'm a freaking badass. So, that was clothes. Oh, I also got a new bedspread. Look at that, full queen size, uh, queen blanket, whatever, blanket, we'll wear it. Oh, what I get? I get a, your purchase includes a free one year subscription to Better Homes magazine. I'm gonna totally get that girl. Oh shit. Drop my propel. Uh, which my voice is definitely going. <laughs> uh, I was talking all day too. So, it doesn't help. Next thing I got, which was really cool, I got a skull. <laughs> I got a skull head. Look at that. Skull head, yeah. Skull head. Uh, it was actually made of glitter, and my mom was all like, huh, they still have this from Halloween. I'm going to get this for him. I'm like, hell yeah, get that for me. I wasn't there, but uh, I would totally tell her to get this, because I'm going to put this somewhere in my room. I might, like, get a string, maybe embed it in there, like, put it in there and just hang it from my room. I don't know. Skull head. Glitter. You can kind of say it's a crystal skull. Eh? 
Indiana Jones, yeah. Um, next thing, oh, I forgot to show you this. I got a custom crystal case for my PS Vita, which is cool, because I really need a case for my PS Vita, because it's not getting screwed up at all. It's not, but, uh, you know, I'm afraid it will. And what does it come with? Oh, no, it protects and holds PlayStation Vita system, uh, eight PS Vita game cards, and two PS Vita flash memory cards. Does it come with anything? It comes with interchangeable cover art. Includes five PS Vita art covers. Does it come with a... Uh... No, that's not really different. All it is is a... Uh... It gives you two games to choose from and one that just says PS Vita on it. Look, it gives you two different uh, versions of two different games. Little, uh, Little Deviants and Wipeout 2048. And a thing that just says PS Vita. That's kind of lame. I wish there was like an Uncharted one or something. Ooh. And that's, oh, just leave it there. Um, oh, these things I got too, which were kind of cool. I got um, uh, Angry Birds plushies. I got the the red Angry Bird. Can I take them out? No, I can. I'll just have to rip them open. I got the pig guy. And I got the yellow one that I think splits up into three, I think. I think so. They probably have names, but... And they all say stuff when you press them. Right on. Uh, and this is the pig one. Stock noise of just fucking pigs. And this one. Does that. Okay. So, there you go. There's the Angry Birds plushies. Um, next, I got were... These were kind of cool. My mom got these. I guess they were cheap wherever she got them from. But, um... They're not the best, but they're kind of cool. Uh, I got she got me some Batman action figures. This one is Bane. Ah, Bane! I am the Bane. Um, so got Bane. Build a what? Build a projecting bat signal. Collect and wait. Collect and connect. Piece to, oh, piece included. Whatever the hell that means. So there you go. You got Bane there. That's kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> they also got an Alfred um, action figure. So anyway, Bane. I also got, of course, you need Batman. Batman 1, that looks pretty cool, I guess. There we go, Batman. And this one isn't from Batman, I mean, this isn't from Dark Knight Rises. This is actually from Batman Arkham City, the video game. And this is actually Harley Quinn. There you go, she just showed you the back of each one. Oh, it actually comes with an Arkham City poster. This one comes with an Arkham City poster. So that's kind of cool. I'll probably take them out of the box because I don't think these are ever going to be rare. Because my mom got them pretty cheap on, uh, I don't know when. But it comes with this poster. That's kind of cool. It's probably small, but that's that's cool. That's cool, Bo. That's cool. Um, so there you go. Those are those figures. Um, next thing I got, let me uh, show you this stuff. Um, I got, she just bought me this. This was probably a cheap little thing, but that was cool because I do need a new headset. And well, I, I do need a new uh, uh, earphone set, I guess. Um, and this is just a Sylvania, Sylvania three-piece, um, whatever the hell you call it. Um, whatever, I need a new earpiece, so earphone set, whatever, fuck. Anyway, they're all different and stupid. They're all called something different. Screw it, I don't care. So, and the next thing I got came in this little uh, box. And that's, you know, when I see this box, I'm thinking, oh, she got me a watch? Well... Kind of, she did get me a watch, but she got me one of these uh, pocket watches. It has an eagle on it for America, because I'm American, bald eagle, look at that. And, of course, it has the time in it, and it's pretty nice. I feel like a, I feel like an old-timey detective, just looking at my watch, waiting for the suspect to come so I can beat him with my cane and ask him questions, I guess. I guess that's what they did. I don't know. It also came with a money clip, but uh, here I'll show you that. This is the money clip. Money. Pocket watch or money clip. Alright, so what else? Um, what the hell is that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then move back here. What's that? Oh, yeah, okay. Alright, next thing I got uh, the two little notepads. That's actually my stocking stuffers. I don't know why that's out. Um, next thing I got was a, a touch up trimmer. There you go, for my beard, make it look nice. So she got me that, that was really cool. Um, didn't expect that at all, but that's cool. Can make my beard look nice, like it usually does. 
Don't need you motherfuckers telling me it isn't. Um, next thing I got was, uh, I'm definitely going to be unboxing this for next, uh, uh, tomorrow for the Christmas unboxings. This is Skylanders Giant. I forgot to show you that. Uh, again, I have a lot of stuff here, so. Ooh, barking. You know what? I think that's about time to end this uh, part. So you know what? Part two of my Christmas video is done. Look forward to part three, which I'm going to wrap all this stuff up. Get it? Wrap? <laughs> it's Christmas. So anyway, there you go. There's part two. I hope you enjoyed it. People are here for dinner. I'm going to say hi. Thank you and goodbye.